I've got uh, day probably seven um, on the Benign robot. I am, um, well, it's not really day seven, it's kind of a bit of a, a few days, just uh, it was kind of getting a bit silly to do an update every day because, um, you know, there's a small progress, so it was kind of useless. So I think for now, and I'm just going to do an update when there's significant progress. Uh, but yeah, basically, it's day seven. Um, I've repainted this piece here. Uh, basically, this was in two pieces, two halves, and um, according to the instructions, as we can see here, one half uh, goes on this on the waste plate, and the other one goes on the torso assembly. And the whole point of that is it tells you there not not to glue it because they've got to rotate, but there's no need for that. I glued them together and it'll still rotate because you've got this pin here on the bottom of the torso and there's a retainer pin on the bottom. So once you glue that into that, providing you don't glue it to this waist, then it'll spin uh, just fine. Well, actually, sorry, I should reiterate that this bottom piece will be glued to the waist plate, but it won't be glued to the torso. <clears throat> so it'll spin, it'll spin up here. It just looks better than having this big line in the middle of a big seam line. Just I didn't like that. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to redo this retainer pin just to make it a bit more stronger because it's a little bit, a little bit thin. But anyway, we'll get to that later. Um, so yeah, first of all, I, I redid that. Redid the. Uh, the seam on that and repainted it all. Um, we've got this torso programming part of it painted up, but uh, the, the center over here needs to be white and all the little details and stuff. I'm kind of keeping the details till a bit later, so I just want to get the bulk of it together and do the details you know, later on. Uh, we've got this piece here, which is all painted up, which all belongs to the head assembly. So probably getting a little bit ahead of myself there but um what else are the seams on these friggin tracks driving me insane I've uh, just primed it again and it's looking better but I mean as you can see right around there there's, there's still something something just keeps popping up and I've probably sanded filled primed about eight nine times now I don't know what I'm doing, there's just a bit of muck there. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah, it is driving me insane. <laughs> um, I've started it on the hands. Um, and again, these are two separate parts, um, which I decided to paint separately, and the, uh, what do you call it, the claws separately. Let me see if I can find that in the instructions. So you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> there we go. As you can see here, each piece is separate. And then you've got the claws, but the claws need to be pinned on the inside of these uh, retainers. So it was kind of difficult to put it all together and then paint it. So I decided to paint the claws, or paint everything separately, and then glue it together. So I got that stage, and they show the seam line there, but on the actual robot there's no seam. So I wanted to get rid of that. So we've got to do it after the fact. So it's glued together, and then I just need to touch up the line that goes right around. Uh, and I've just added a bit of uh, you know, cling wrap around the around the red claw, because it's already been painted. So I just want to touch up you know, the top layer sort of thing. So I mean, there's no need to do any intricate masking for it. The, the cling wrap will do just fine. Uh, providing I don't have any problems with these seams, then we should be fine, but yeah. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. I'm just getting these things prepared to be repainted. Um, and I've started work on the the brain piece. Which is the first thing to do in the instructions, but... 
Uh, there's a lot of electronics that go in here, so a lot of lights, LEDs, SMDs, whatever. So I sort of left it to last. There's that piece there that I just showed you, which has been painted up, which is that. Uh, we also have this piece here, which comes in two separate halves, and again, I didn't want to see that seam, so I glued them together first. And uh, incidentally, if you can see, maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a little pin that sits down, and a pin that goes up, which goes into the other pieces. And this bottom section is like solid to hold the fingers. Well, I've uh, cut out that whole bottom section, I cut out the pin, drilled the hole right through it because we've got the wiring that goes. Uh, from the fingers up to this the head unit the brain I should say so all the wiring that have come down through somewhere and there was no need for all that extra plastic in there it's, it, it'll do just fine without it it's not really it's not necessary basically so yeah the next uh, thing to do with this is where you've got all these holes put some SMDs on each hole and um, add in the fingers which will basically act as uh, kind of like fiber optics because they're a clear part let's see if I can get them a little bit disorganized today here they are here. yeah so they're a clear part so all we've got to do is is paint the, the back of it uh, I think it's the same metallic grey as this and leave the end and probably just add a bit of uh, Tamiya clear orange and like I said, that'll act as a fiber optic. So having an SMD here, the SMD will, will shoot up, shoot up through the the clear part and shine at the end. And they're not supposed to be brightly lit anyway, so it's just a hint of color. So which I think will work out fine. Um, so yeah, that's the next next part of that. Uh, I have started working on the brain piece. Um. Uh, which is basically I've got LEDs on there, on there, on there, which are going to shine each of the corners. There'll be a little bit of, uh, you yeah, know, well, I suppose a dead zone right in, right in the in the middles here, but no big deal because there's going to be flashing and twinkling and all that sort of stuff. So it's just a hint of of light shining through the the hieroglyphics on the side. So I think that'll still work well. Um, but yeah, they're just hot glued in place. Um, this little pin in the center, I've drilled holes right around it uh, and down so that all the wiring can come out through the bottom. Uh, which that has to go through this piece and <clears throat> all those other wires that are coming out through. Those are some deep, so there's a fair bit of wiring coming out the, uh, this top section. That's why I've chosen to use this uh, magnet wire or winding wire. But it's a lot thinner and there's no other way you could really get through there. Um, <clears throat> on this top piece here, there's these three uh, little bulbs, which are these ones here. Now, again, the same sort of thing. The top of them will be clear amber, and they're a clear part. So um, whatever lighting is shown, shown down here will, will, will reflect up there. I'm hoping. Um, otherwise, the alternative is um, is to put an SMD under each one here. But you know, that's adding more wires, and it's, it's, there's a lot through there as it is. So I don't know. I have to sort of check some more references. I can't really see if those are lit all the time, or they flash with the rest of the brain. I think they're lit all the time, but I'm not 100% sure. But you know, in the end, it's, it's a small detail, and you know, I'm happy with uh, it flashing with the rest of it. It's not, it's not a big deal for me. <clears throat> but um, you know, that's still something I'm thinking about, so I'll get to that uh, a bit later. Now, as far as the rest of electronics goes, I'm still, I'm still stuck. I haven't really worked out <clears throat> how I'm going to do the the torso lighting. Uh, the way I want to do it is still not working I'm gonna to have to probably you know change it up and 
do sort of a more uh, what do you call it? Maybe a, a caveman way of doing it. I don't know. Just something really, <laughs> really simple. And if it works, it works. I guess.